Good morning. Welcome to Monday's message, and then I'm going to offer a reading of the energy for the week to help you navigate your course as you're making decisions and uh, growing your own life. So first things first, the message. If you feel like the world is falling apart, or maybe your life is falling apart, or things are very complicated and you don't understand, and you know your mantra is, ah, oh, the world's gone crazy, um, is that happening? Is, is that true? Um, yes and no. Uh, it is true. Everything is different. We're changing into a new reality. We're, we're evolving into new structures, new paradigms, new ways of doing things, and new ways of looking at old ideas and old thing, and things we've been told as what's true and what isn't true. Uh, it's definitely an incredible time of transformation and transition. So on one level, to the human body, it can feel like Life is falling apart. This is craziness. You know, I see all these, um, you know, I, I frequent TikTok and different social media where people are express themselves uh, in, their, in the first person a lot. And there's a lot of, oh my God, 2020 is so horrible. What's going to happen next? Especially on the West Coast where it was like, oh my gosh, first quarantine and COVID and then the fires and, you know, sort of lumping it all together as one disastrous monstrosity. And, you know, that is one way it can be seen if that's the only thing you're going to pay attention to. But in my world, the way we stay happy, the way we continue to invite abundance into our lives, the way we continue to find peace in our existence is by seeing the other dimensions, the other layers to the moments we're in. So yes, there's a tearing down, there's a breaking down, uh, there's a, a, we've been forced into, forced meaning, uh, quarantine and such, we've been forced into our environments of being still, being with one another more often, things of this nature which really bring about potent and positive internal transformation. And we see that how we look at things will determine whether or not we're happy. But at the same point, we're creating new structures and energetically and physically. It's an example, many organizations, some of the larger ones who have people working at home, for instance, um, some of those people may never go back to a, a building again. I just read an article in San Francisco, um, an organization bought out their lease for 80 nine million, that's right, million dollars. So obviously this is a very large organization, but they realize, you know what? We're not gonna need those facilities any longer. We figured out how to do it now. Or well, where I live in the Pacific Northwest, um, if it snows uh, in say December or January, sometimes we have snow days and the kids just like, yay, snow days, I don't have to go to school. And mom's like, ah, go to school, right? But um, now I just told my son, he's like, oh, it's gonna snow a lot this year. And I go, yeah, but they have online learning in place now. They, they've kind of figured out the infrastructure of online learning, so you won't be missing school. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. We've advanced in certain ways, as well just our thinking in terms of, you know, the COVID and quarantine has brought up so much dialogue and discussion. I mean, you guys have heard me rant and rave about, I don't watch the news anymore. It, it's, it's become abundantly, abundantly clear that it's propaganda and agenda that there's very little thing of value in watching the news. So that was a really big wake up call to me because I, I don't say I was a news junkie, but I really followed politics and I really followed, you know, uh, opinion and what different people were saying. And now it's like, oh, hell no. I don't, I don't want that in my consciousness. I recognize that is not a benefit on any form to me. So that's an example of how, um, long-standing points of view are being changes. I mean, you can have a discussion between people all day long about whether or not a mask is a good thing to wear or not a good thing to wear. <laughs> I don't believe in people fighting about it and punching each other and throwing things, but it certainly brings up discussion about what information is real and what isn't and how do we make a decision. And ultimately, what I find most interesting about this period of time is that 
our ability to go inward and learn how to trust our own sensing system and our relationship to higher wisdom. And that's the one relationship that most people don't spend enough time on. So when people are coming to me for abundance work or whatever it is, create a relationship, I'm always having to help them flex that muscle because that's the piece that's missing. Anyhow, so overall, the point is this. Yes, structures are breaking down. Yes, systems are changing. Yes, uh, thoughts and ideas are being called into question. But it's such a beautiful time for people to reinvent themselves. It's an incredible time to move your life forward based upon new principles, new ideologies, which brings new life force energy into your life and into to the world at large. So we're at the infancy of this transition into this new world that we live in. And um, yes, it's breaking down, but we're building something new is really the point. So if you've been feeling like, oh my God, 2020, what else is gonna happen? You know, look on the other side of this new era that we're into. There's a lot of good stuff there. Okay, let's move on to the energy read for the week, which is you know, let's just call it discombobulated. Um, it's the energy is certainly slowed down. And when I when I say slow down thicker, it, as we try and move through our creative processes, things either feel like they're not really moving at all, or suddenly you have to sprint to finish a project. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really strange, but we can expect that for the next seven or eight days. It doesn't and it doesn't mean that because the energy is moving more slowly that we can't um, have a manifestation, like if you've been plugging away, trying to get a job or, you know, working on your relationship space or your health, or whatever it is, things are, can still happen. It's just the rhythm is very different than what we've been noticing. It's more, it's more jumbled. It's more stops and starts right now. And this week calls for a lot of self-care, a lot of tenderness, a lot of kindness to, to you, you know, really take it easy on yourself because, you know, um, these changes I talk about that are exciting, yeah, they're, they've been exhausting as well. You know, all these adjustments, uh, any type of transformation of growth can, can cause fatigue. And then we move into a slower energy period, uh, a block of energy that's kind of thick. Um, it can exacerbate those feelings of fatigue. So I hope that's helpful to you in some way. Um, if you like this, please hit the button, like, subscribe, and share it with someone else who you might find thinks um, it could be helpful to them. And have a wonderful day and a wonderful week.